Hello dear students let us discuss this interesting question from the chapter parallel lines In this figure it is given that uh, AB is parallel to DE and BC is parallel to EF and we have to prove that angle ABC is equal to angle DEF Okay tell me what is coming to your mind how you are going to tackle this question okay are you thinking of uh, making some construction or you can directly do this okay so what we will be doing is we will be producing this line de in the opposite direction and that and uh, assume that when we produce it it meets bc at the point t so you can see that a new angle is coming up i am marking this angle angle etc so we are going to write down construction produce de to meet bc at t okay now you tell me it is given that uh, ef is parallel to tc why i am saying this tc because uh, ef is parallel to bc so i can say that ef is parallel to tc and you take dt as transversal so what relationship do you see between the marked angles 1 and angle 2 yes they are making a pair of corresponding angles so what do you say yes they will be equal so i can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 similarly if you consider pair of lines dt and ab it is given that ab is parallel to de and we have extended this de to make the line this dt so ab will be parallel to dt as well and consider bc as the transversal So what can you say about angle 2 and angle 3 Yes they are also making a pair of corresponding angles so they will be equal so you see that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 2 is equal to angle 3 so what can you say about angle 1 and 2 Yes they will be equal so now you have to write down this solution so you will begin with <coughs> consider ef parallel to bc and dt is transversal so i am writing here consider ef parallel to bc and dt transversal so we see that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because they are making a pair of corresponding angles similarly consider dt parallel to ab now dt is parallel to ab and bc is transversal so you get angle 2 is equal to angle 3 which is a pair of corresponding angles so one angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 2 is equal to angle 3 so this implies angle 1 is equal to angle 3 this is what we were supposed to prove i hope it is clear to you